been campaigning and being an activist so when I was little growing up in a low income area in Liverpool surrounded by inequality and bad housing and lots of issues so always did campaigning in my local area since I was tiny and then worked as a campaigner for large charities like Oxfam and places and feeling a little bit uncomfortable by some of their aggressive activism from local activist groups or masculine activism or very quick stuff like clicktivism and slacktivism and feeling like it wasn't the most effective tool um, and also I'm an introvert and if you think of any activism most of it's with groups anything that's offline so I was feeling completely burnt out so I still wanted to do activism but I felt like I couldn't do the stuff that burnt me out too much um, and I got into craft at a similar time as feeling burnt out and saw the benefits of how it slowed me down, it made me stop and think more deeply about what I was doing and what I want to do and then um, decided to join the two and googled, being a typical millennial, googled craft and activism and this word craftivism popped up so I contacted Betsy who coined the term and asked if there was any groups I could join or projects I could do and there wasn't and she um, is quite open about not providing that so I came up with my own and then it sort of grew from and there yeah. but there was never a plan it's been very much a reaction to aggressive extrovert activism and seeing the benefits that craft can have for well-being for personal well-being and seeing how I think both of them sort of so it came from me doing my own stuff and then documenting it on a blog just to get my own thoughts out there and so if people saw my work like the mini protest banners they had somewhere to go for more information because I was worried that when people saw it they might go yeah I really care but I don't know what to do now but it, so it came out of that completely by accident suddenly people around the world from Australia, from America, from Canada, lots of places asking if they could join in and saying either they were a burnt out activist or didn't feel like they fitted in to other forms of activist groups or they loved craft and they wanted to use it for good. So it came out of all of these people I didn't know they wanted to join in and also lots of people in London where I'm from so I thought I can't really say no and ignore them so um, yeah came up with the Craftivist Collective as a group of 10 of us, we met in the British Library on a, in a January and came up with the name and the manifesto and then it's just grown very organically from there.